Allah was in the streets, there were many challenges. For mostly you had to look your ways in the street and get something to eat. At the end of the day, you had to survive. So many street boys, like most of my friends, went through a lot. Some people, when they look at you while you're in the street, they just see as if you are not born to live in this world. There are a lot of abuses going around. People just looking at you and even if you have done nothing while passing through someone, just because you look dirty, they felt like you don't belong there. So most of the time, when we were on our ways collecting these litter bins to sell, people used to throw words that were so dis discouraging to us. Some of them even used to ask where our mothers were or where we came from. I also re remember there, were, there was a day that I wasn't lucky to collect so many uh, metals or those rubbish to go and sell. So it happened that me and my brother went to steal on a construction that was ongoing. But I wasn't lucky because the, 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 the soldier who was looking out for the construction saw us and he had some dogs. So he let them out and while we were running, my brother managed to escape but I was caught and when he had, he had a grip of me, he, he, he almost beat me almost. It's like he wanted to kill me because he, he, he pulled some metal which I, I had already collected in that construction and then he started beating me off my back. And also, most of the time, you know, when you wake up on drugs, you feel like doing nothing. We, we mostly used to sleep for a day, two, without anything to eat, just because the drugs you are sniffing, they, they are just giving you illusion that you are satisfied, but most of the time you end up being hungry, sick, no one to care for you. It was so discouraging, but I still thank God for this chance and this opportunity from where I am today. Most of them, the street kids, right now, even if you look at them, you probably won't see any, like there is any hope, because it's all about drugs, fighting, and nothing else, because while you are out there on the, st the streets, you feel there is nothing you are going to lose. So you are just surviving with everything you, you have to do to make your ways out. The, the glue that most of the people used to make it, to make shoes with it, we used to sneak that. Also, the, we have this tobacco that people call it Chavez, you used to put it on your lips and then it will make you feel like your whole body, you are high. Most of the time also, you know, when you are young and you have nothing, nothing to, or anyone to look upon, we used to go, when you collect that money, it was useless because most of the time you used also to buy alcohol and just to, to drink and because most people used to say alcohol relieves you from the stress. So on our part we used just to drink for fun and just to feel how would I be if I, if I had, I was wealthy and I, I had everything I, in this world. But in the meantime, most of us also used to smoke bang. When you smoke and then you feel like you can beat up everyone. That, that feeling of giving you the courage to, to look and be, be strong in the streets. If, even if 
a larger even if uh, someone is so big you will see them like they can tell you nothing so those drugs even though they used to to affect us and most of our mentalities in a, in another way they used to give us a comfort that you felt that even if you have nothing to lose this was the world that you belonged in because it gave you courage and also a feeling that you are strong doing what you are doing most of the time bang we used to buy because it was cheap around 20 bob so we used to buy for like in a day you would smoke two to three times because it was cheap and while you go and sell the the liter plastic metal that you have collected in a day when you go and wait to the retailers who used to buy it you would earn around 200,000 uh, 200 so with that 200 and bang was around 20 bob you would buy probably three because that's 60 bob and you feel that it was okay because also now the glue was around 10 bob so in a day you'll spend around 100 bob buying those drugs while the other 100 bob we used to play like gambling just to have a chance to to get lucky and win some money but in most cases that wasn't the case the gambling we used to play around also other street boys and other street kids just because it it gave us a unity and when you you are lucky and maybe you you are you you end up winning the next day it means that you didn't have to wake up and go and start hustling for the money of the day you just relax and use it on those drugs i won't say that i used to take a bath because most of the time we used to go swimming to these river banks so we never we never took a bath but we went for swimming especially when it was raining we went for swimming with other kids just for fun and pretend we were also on a swimming pool so occasionally a bath with a soap that wasn't a thing for us in the streets because we just used to swim and that was it clothes we, we never wash clothes maybe the 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 shorts we we wore during that time and when you are in the water with that short that was it it's like you had already washed it because after that you went and you are just lying on the sun dried up and then you wear the previous clothes that you had on your previous day and then you continue with your daily routine there are a lot of those abuses personally i haven't i haven't encountered one but i was so close one of one of the the boys i knew while we were sleeping he tried to to abuse me from from my back and that time because we were sleeping in a group and if i spoke it would also make him feel like he would start beat, beating me because he was older than me during that time i woke up from where we used to sleep and i went and slept on another place because he wanted to abuse me sexually the happiest thing i liked while i was at bosco boys first thing was the sports i never used to play football while i was at the streets and i never had the time when i was at bon bosco langata which during our days acted as a rehab center because we before we came to don bosco boys kuinda we used to play a lot of games and mostly i loved football and it made me feel that 
that connectivity, asking for another player to pass the ball to me, it gave me that feeling that I had also, or I was in need of much support to do most of the things. Passing balls, seeing other people laughing, making goals, that was the happiest moment. Because after you score, most of your teammate, teammates came and started cheering at you and it gave you that feeling of enthusiasm. And that was most of my happiest moment. And also the chance that I came to attend most of my masses there, Christian, Christian masses, rosa, rosaries. I never knew such things. So when I was praying and then you are in a, like a group, you felt like you are inside a family that made you, brought you, all of you together. So that one gave me also, I felt happy because at one time I, I was in a family that really cared and if you did something wrong, they were there to correct you. Unless on the streets, you do something wrong, no one cares. But most of the time in Don Bosco, I loved football, cheering, gatherings, and most of the community activity that they used to do. Also like party games. They really made me feel enjoyable and feel comfortable being around other people. At Don Bosco, you meet different people from different places, villages. And at one time, you might talk to someone and he might respond to you at a, at a maybe rudely, but also because you are not talking to, a, a, to him as a person, you are in a group someone else might correct him and also make you feel, if he was the one who was talking rude, make him feel like he, has, he, he didn't respond to you correctly. And that made us change. It also improved how we communicate with other people because mostly there, even right now, as I'm speaking, I also have so many friends that I met in Don Bosco that I'll, like my family today, we meet every, every Sundays, and I also feel like it also brought that connectivity for right now also, I, can't, I, I, I won't be able to speak or communicate to anyone so courageously and so, so enthusiastic as I was during those days in the streets because we are also afraid of people because how they used to view us and look at you and they saw nothing. I would personally like to invite them to come and help us. You know, sometimes it seems like a small gift. I remember when I was at Don Bosco and it was during FIFA time, I had one sponsor who used to send those football stickers. They really looked small, but they are so encouraging. Because during that time, I used to say I love football and I play football. So when I got those stickers, they encouraged me to continue playing football until even when I was in high school, I was in a school team. I wouldn't be able or I wouldn't have been viewed that football as something great if I played for some few days and then nothing else came out of it as a gift or anything, probably I would have dropped it. Even if I have, for right now, and I'm so grateful and thankful, I have received a gift that's a laptop and it's so encouraging considering that I have this passion in entertainment. It looks like something, something small, but to me, I consider it as something big because in my daily routine, I will also be encouraged 
and it will also act, act as a motivation to me that I still need to put more effort and continue performing in my field of entertainment and in my field of my career, knowing that someone else really cares about what I'm doing and they are also willing to help me. It's, it's just something great for someone to do to any, anyone. Everything I do, knowing that there is someone watching, so probably I won't be uh, silly enough to do anything wrong, considering that the support that I'm receiving it's for my own good and my own help. So it's so encouraging to keep me in focus and to target some of the goals I want to achieve in life.